Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, back with another quick hit. I wanted to touch on one thing today. Lou DiBella, um, first off, like and subscribe. Um, share us on all forms of social media. We bring you two shows a day, two shows a day. Uh, this is the first one of the day. We'll be back late tonight uh, with, with more content. So that's the kind of content you guys are looking for. Like and subscribe. Share with a friend. Share on all forms of social media. Make sure to smash that like button. Um, but we're going to address Richard Comey is now the main event. Uh, like I said, the Joe Smith uh, last, last off fight is off, which moves Comey uh, and Jackson Marinez into the main event. <clears throat> um, Richard Comey um, is a former world champion who is uh, should have a victory over uh, Robert East too, but was robbed of that in, in, in a horrible decision, uh, but went on and won a vacant title when he knocked out and destroyed um, Beltran. Um, but his uh, his manager's promoter, um, Lou DiBella, came out and, and said that we expect him to be a world champion again. And that was met with a lot of... Mixed reactions, to say the least, but not really mixed, as everyone thought that was crazy. Uh, this was in a boxing scene article. Um, he came out and said that we expect him to be a world champion again. I don't think that that is a crazy statement at all. And I get why that's unpopular, given...
as far as their strength and power goes, they're, they're never out of it. He hasn't regressed. He hasn't slowed down. He was just beat by a guy who's a much better athlete. If they fought again, T.F. Imolovic would probably beat him again. He'd probably knock him out again. I'm not saying he could beat T.F. Imolovic, but could he beat Devin Haney? Could he beat Ryan Garcia? Should Ryan Garcia get a belt? Yes, he could, which means he can get a world title. Well, Ryan Garcia has got holes defensively. Can he stand up to the physical man strength of Richard Comey? I don't know. Richard Comey could definitely win that fight. Could Richard Comey beat Devin Haney? I'd pick him to beat Devin Haney. I think he'd bully Devin Haney around. I, I don't think Devin Haney, as young as he is, has the man strength to stand up with Richard Comey. So I, I, I think if Comey fought Haney, which is why the fight wouldn't happen, Comey would win. Could he beat T.V. Lopez? No. Could he beat Loma? No. Could he beat Tank Davis? Probably not. But he can beat the rest of the guys in the division. He's a he's an animal. He's a force. Like he fights out of the high guard and then he throws he throws shots. I don't want to say wild. He throws power shots and leaves himself wide open to be nailed. He does. So if you can stand up to him, you can beat him. If you can outbox him, you can beat him. But you gotta be able to do both. Right? And Tiafima Lopez was able to do both. Shapakov beat him. Shapakov is a disaster for anybody. He's a headache for anyone. Shapakov is freakishly strong himself and took a close decision. Robert Easter got a completely bogus decision that he didn't deserve and and, 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 and won a world title. But, but Comey, again, he's not one-fisted because his left hand serves a purpose. Is a one-fisted dominant offensive powerhouse, right? Which can be beaten, which can be had, which can lose and look bad on particular nights. But he can also take you apart. Um, and you're going to see that. He, you know, he destroyed Beltran, who stands up to everybody. Um, you know, he, I'm going to say he beat Easter. He, he can beat guys, but he can also lose to guys, which is why, I, I look, I think Lou DiBella has to say that because it's, you know, look, Lou DiBella, he's got Conwell. He's got some fighters. He doesn't have the stable that he used to. Comey's one of his guys. I think Comey's got an excellent trainer. Right, with Andre Rosier. I think he's in a right camp. I think they will get him back. But this Jackson Marinas fight is exactly what this is a great test. If he looks good and passes the test with flying colors, he's back. If he's not back, if he's never recovered from that vicious TO knockout, then he, he's gonna struggle or lose to Jackson Marinas. Um But let me know what you guys think. Um like and subscribe, share us, share on all forms of social media, 3D boxing, 3D boxing blogs, where you can find me. Um Leave your thoughts, comments below on Richard Comey on the fight. Um, let me know what you all think. Um, it is February 12th, 2021. Jose Calderon is still not in the boxing hall of fame. That needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy in in 2021. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.